Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth beside the still waters. And he restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. But thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. You prepare us a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint us my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Paul writes in his letter to the church of Rome, None of us lives to ourselves alone. None of us dies to ourselves alone. If we live, we live to the Lord, and if we die, we die to the Lord. So whether we live or die, we belong to the Lord. We're here today to commit our beloved brother, Randy Farmer, to the Lord our God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. This isn't the end. The Christians know. Quietly, the 
doctor said, I don't know. You don't know you're a Christian man and don't know what's on the other side. The doctor was holding the handle of the door and on the other side, a sound of scratching and whining. As he opened the door, a dog sprang into the room and leaped on him with an eager show of gladness. Turning to the patient, the doctor said, did you notice my dog? He's never been in this room before. He didn't know what was inside. He knew nothing except that his master was here. And when the door opened, he sprang in. He sprang in without fear. I know little of what is on the other side of death, but I know one thing. I know my master is there, and that is enough. So I'd like to read this quote I found that was uh, written by Dr. John Ashton in 1906. And it talks about comradeship. And uh, in the military, when we use that word, we don't use it lightly because when we join, we agree that we're willing to sacrifice our life. So it's not something we take lightly. I will sacrifice my life for him as he would for me, and it doesn't matter that he was army and I was taken. He's still my comrade. So I'd like to read this quote to you. Softly call the muster. Let comrade answer here. Their spirits hover around us as if to bring us cheer. Mark them present in our hearts. We'll meet some other day. There is no death but life eternal for heroes such as they. Shall we pray? Almighty and merciful God, in great sorrow the battle of life is over. Comrade after comrade, deep heart as our ranks grow thinner. Help us to be faithful to thee and to one another. Have mercy and comfort and console those bereaved by the hand of death. Heavenly Father, bless our service personnel around the world, our veterans, our people, and the leaders of our country with freedom, peace, and righteousness. For Jesus' name we ask. Amen. All right, first thing we're going to do, we'll march back over and we'll fire three volleys with the rifles. After that, the flag team will come up here, prepare the flag and we'll play taps. When you hear taps, if you would please stand, place your hand over your heart in the American fashion, unless you're a veteran or on active duty or a first responder, in which case, please join the military in saluting one of our heroes. Order. Order.
of our glorious banner we place three spent shell casings. Each shell casing represents honor, courage, and devotion to the United States and the United States Army in which our comrade Mr. Randolph Roy Farmer served so very well. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes the services here at the cemetery. On behalf of the family, we'd like to go ahead and thank our clergy, to thank our honor guard, and thank everybody for attending. May God bless each and every one of you, and please be dismissed.